Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. In this video, we'll see how MVCR can help you to stylize your music video. Let's start with the project. By my face. Face. As you just seen, MVCR can reproduce the VHS effect on your footage. Let's see how it works. First, go to the effects library where you can find the MVCR folder which contains 30 presets. You can preview the result by skimming the preset. To apply a preset to your clip, you can double click on it or just drag and drop the preset on your clip. In the inspector, you will have access to all the parameters as you can modify every element. The parameters are grouped by categories, TV noise, distortions, color balance, viewfinders options, and many more. Let's start with the first one, proportions. Proportions give you the possibility to switch to the 4x3 aspect ratio in order to get the NTSC or PAL format. You will be able to adjust the effect blending mode. You can switch to the soft light, for example. Then you will have many parameters to customize the TV noise effect. The TV noise will depend on the preset you've chosen, so you can adjust the levels, the hue and the saturations. The prism effect is like the chromatic aberration as you can split the RGB channels. You can also increase or decrease the interlaced lines. And as for most all the parameters, you can animate it. With the TV screen noise, you can also combine some distortion. You can adjust the angle and the amount of distortion. By default, you will have the white balance activated. You can switch it off at any time or you can also modify the various values for the shadows, mint tone, and highlights. Depending on your preset, you will have some video noise applied. You can choose the type of the noise you desire. You have also access to the levels parameters to adjust the luminance. The soft focus parameter will blur a little bit the interlace and the distortion effects. Then, we have access to the viewfinder parameters where you can modify almost everything. Viewfinder has some prims effects. You can pixelate also the various elements. Every text can be customized, for example, if I need to translate in French. The icon beside the text can be modified depending on the element you need. Rewind, stop, backward, for example. You can modify the date, change the position directly inside the viewer. The logo at the top right can be changed. There are many logo available directly in the drop-down menu but we'll see later that you can import your own logo with a drop zone feature. Concerning the battery element, it's also fully customizable. You can modify the size, the color, and the battery level.
but you can also animate all these parameters at the same time to simulate the loss of power. Concerning the timecode display, it is possible to change the format. Select between the project timecode or effect 1. And it is very easy to add some offset value. Let's switch to another clip. On this one, I will add the preset number 1. First, I will switch to the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Then I will increase the size of the interlaced lines. I will increase the luminance by adjusting the level parameters. I like this effect and I would like to add it on the next clip. I will copy my clip by pressing Command plus C. Then I will select the next clip and press Shift Command V in order to copy the attributes. In the pop-up window, I will check that the right attribute is selected and click Paste. As I'm using the project source code, the time code will perfectly follow between the two clips, which is a very nice feature to create some continuity. On the next clip, the main character is moving backwards, so I will apply a preset with a rewind title. But of course, you can select any preset and you can modify the title to rewind also. As for the other shots, I will add the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. I will increase the interlace lines and I will remove the white balance to keep the same colors. But it is a little too dark, so I will adjust the levels to increase a little bit the luminance. For the last clip, I will select the preset number 30. The viewfinders indicate forwards, so to accelerate the clip, I will press Command plus R to get access to the speed parameters and I will double the speed of the clip. It is a nice idea to combine MVCR with the speed parameters to do some acceleration, rewind or stop simulations. As I've mentioned before, it is possible to add your own logo to the viewfinder elements. I will select the custom logo option. In the event browser, I will select my logo and click on apply. I will adjust the size. And it's done. Let's see the final result. By my face. By my face. If you want to know more about MVCR, please visit motionvfx.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.